Welcome back, data talkers, to our next episode of Is OpenAI's Codex as Smart as a Data Scientist? Uh, last time we learned that OpenAI certainly had better memorization capabilities than a data scientist. So this time, I'm using a, uh, an IPython notebook that I used to use to teach my students. Um, and this is the most basic, basic thing. So it is on the internet, but it's definitely not as frequent as the Quipsamora stuff. So this is basically running my students through, like, can you use some Python in an IPython notebook? Since a lot of my students know Python, but they didn't know IPython because they were just beginning as a data scientist. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you, I just used DaVinci's Codex. Nothing else is crazy. Um, I might experiment with using a stop sequence. I have uh, an idea of one stop sequence that could be useful in mind. Um, but let's just go ahead and check it out. Um, so question one, divide 10 by 20 and uh, set the result to a variable named A. Um, so again, we have this in here as a comment. This is kind of the way that we, we clue codex into what we want. Um, I'll go ahead and add a new line here. I'll click submit. Um, okay, so a couple of things. One, notice that we have some gobbledygook after this. Like we didn't really ask for this. <laughs> like we definitely didn't ask for these comments here. Um, the only thing that we were asking for is this code. Um, and I want you guys to sort of look at this code. And is this right? Unfortunately, OpenAI kind of falls for the trick that a lot of students actually fall for. And that if we go ahead and use this and print the results, it prints out zero. Um, and this is because we're actually doing integer division. Um, we don't use the remainders. We don't show float division here. Um, it's sort of a Python specific thing. And because of this, I, I you know there's actually this question that we add here. If you didn't get float, alter your equation. I want to go ahead and see if we give OpenAI. Uh, so I want two things here. I want to go ahead and add a stop sequence of a hashtag. Um, this could be a really bad idea, but you know. Uh, so it just doesn't give us you know random comments after it gives us the code that we're looking for. Um, and I want to go ahead and see if it, if it figures it out. If you didn't get a float, uh, didn't get a float, alter the equation to go ahead and get the right, right result. Will it be able to alter the equation? And it was. Uh, it's pretty crazy, right? Um, I mean, it does it in a different way than it's above. So, you know, uh, but still, it's pretty, pretty darn crazy. Um, let's go ahead and see how smart you are, OpenAI. Uh, let's create a function called division that will divide any two numbers and print the results. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's see what it does. Um, okay. Okay. This is because it tried to most likely add in uh, some sort of comment here. So I'll take the comment out. Let's see what we get. Oh, so this is pretty cool. So this type of thing, you know, I probably found this on the internet or something like this, this question. It immediately memorized the next thing that you want to have to hear is call your function and confirm the results are expected. Call your function and confirm the results are expected. Um, it then does bonus problem. <laughs> you know, Don't want bonus problem here. Um, and then it, then it does this. So again, question to you guys, is this right? Um, let's go ahead and see. Um, so 20 divided by 10, that looks pretty good. What about 10 divided by 20? Um, you guys probably already see the problem here. It gives us zero again. Uh, it didn't account for uh, the fact that this uh, does integer division. It, perhaps what we can do is we can basically say the same thing. If you did not get a float, alter your uh, function to get float responses. Float responses. Maybe this will help it. Man, um, it's just kind of cool, right? That's just like magical. Um, so does this work? Um, and you guys can probably guess. Uh, this this is looking pretty good. Um, just gonna just paste this in here. Division, cool. Uh, now it does print the result. Um, did we say and prints the results? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, 
cool. It still adds in this scoop at the end, which is unfortunate, but you know, okay, cool. Question three, using split. So this is looking a little bit different. Let's just go ahead and, well, let's see. I don't actually know what the response uh, cap is. I know for GPT-3, which is the word one, I will take in 2,000 characters or 2,000 tokens. So using split, split my string into separate words in a variable named words. So we've got a couple of things we need to do here. So one, we need to feed it this question. And two, we need to feed it my string. Um, uh, let's go ahead and see if it's able to do this. I, I, I bet it is. Um, great, 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 great. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's just, obviously, these questions are a little bit duplicated. It's kind of sad. Um, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should just add in kind of like a, a new line new line as you know a stop sequence maybe that's the thing to do like you know does this even work backslash new line backslash new line um uh and then let's let's do this again let's let's see what happens um so doop submit no this this backslash new line i mean enter enter that just looks like a carriage return. Um, let's just try this one final time, just just for just for interest. Um, let's do this. Okay, maybe maybe this will actually be good. Um, finding a good stop sequence for this is kind of hard, uh, but anyways. Uh, so yeah, this looks really good. Um, it's the exact same thing that we had here. Um, it is strange. It adds a little return statement. Interesting. Um, maybe this was memorized somewhere else. Um, question, how many words are in my string? Okay. Um, this looks like it should probably just nail this question pretty easily. I'll submit that. Print length words. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, use a list comprehension to find the length of each word. Ooh. So this this looks this is a tough question. Open AI, can you can you can you go ahead and do this? Um, can it do it if I add a typo? <laughs> Let's see. Length of each word, length for wow. So you can see it feels like as we're kind of getting a hold of this, it's starting to feel really powerful. Um, right, because I didn't I uh, didn't run words, but. Let's just do this. Um, it's starting to feel really, really powerful, right? I mean, you need to be able to double check some of these results, but after you double check these results, they seem really good. Um, put words back together uh, in a variable called sentence using, using join. Um, and remember, it's able to sift through all this kind of crud that we put in. Um, so once again, this is perfect. Um, it's like, it's, it's just, it's kind of scary how good this is. And add a pipe between each word. Um, okay. Let's, I mean, this, you need to use context from the previous question in order to be able to solve this. I mean, will it be able to solve this? Um, the blah puts a space between words, or you could put anything else in. Okay. Uh, alternate sentence equals blah between words. Um, so here's what I would say. I'm pretty impressed with this. It's still one of these things where I don't know what a good use case of having OpenAI is, but just being able to solve all these questions, use context from the previous questions and answers, be able to refine its results. And now that we found a good stop sequence, it seems to work really well. Um, it is, or it has memorized something. On the internet, there are questions that are very similar to this, which you can tell that it has memorized. For example, let's add, or let's take out our stop sequence. Let's delete this. Uh, let's delete all this. And let's make the response length uh, 1,000. And we might even see sort of a problem set that it spits out. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of crazy. Um, it's just sort of going on, sort of figuring out. It's it's obviously sort of in a little bit of a loop here. Um, 
but uh, we'll click cancel. Um, I hope you guys have sort of enjoyed yourself on this. The next questions that I'm going to be asking OpenAI Codex are going to be even more advanced, especially data science related questions, not just sort of Python related questions. If you guys like the video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you want to see OpenAI do anything in particular, uh, go ahead and let me know and I'll go ahead and make a video about it. As always, this has been Data Talks and I'll see you guys next time.